Hey everyone, welcome to the reintroduction vlog. I'm Lee, I'm autistic and I also have ADHD. Now, as you've probably noticed, the channel is no longer Adult with Autism. From now on, it's going to be called One Awesome Autistic. Why? Because I am one awesome autistic. In all seriousness, it is actually for two reasons. Firstly, the name Adult with Autism I didn't actually put much thought into that when I created the name because I never created the name actually for the YouTube channel I created it for my blog which I've had for over a year uh, about a year and a half something like that um, and since I started the blog and started with that name um, I've got my official diagnosis and I have a whole lot more knowledge into autism that I didn't even know existed at the time and because I am a member of a few autism groups and I'm active as I can in those groups as well um, as well as being on Twitter and I'm a member of a few subreddits and things like that I've learned a lot from fellow autistic people and I know that saying adult with autism is troublesome for a lot of people um, so I didn't want to offend anybody just by having that name and put people off watching my videos before they even click play or anything like that um, so I just wanted something that felt just a little bit more inclusive for everybody really um, secondly I'm a huge walking contradiction I am either one extreme or the other there doesn't seem to be any middle ground with me I either have crippling anxiety and self-loathing and zero confidence or I'm the most arrogant I'm most confident even borderline arrogant person and think that I am absolutely awesome this is just what I'm like in everyday life people who know me will vouch for that um, definitely so for the days when I feel like I'm a fantastic person then I feel like I am one awesome autistic um, and I feel like I can do anything and I can get you know I can take on the world sort of thing um, so the name One Awesome Autistic hopefully portrays that confidence in the name um, and will be a little bit more inclusive for the people as well. Um, I didn't want anything negative, just wanted to turn it on into positive. And that's basically what I've been concentrating on this past week. Um, I've been playing around with some art stuff online to create banners and things that I need and things that I like as well. I've also been trying to survive this heat. It has been super, super roasted. Um, sometimes I'm completely failing surviving that heat. Um, I can't even, for the majority of the day, open my curtain in my bedroom because the sun just hits the bed and it is absolutely boiling. Um, so I have to keep the curtain closed just to try and keep some cool. Um, and I hate, hate the heat. I don't mind the cold because you can always put a jumper on you can get wrapped up in blankets all that kind of stuff you can put the heating on if it's cold you can always warm up but if it's too hot you can never seem to cool down and um, it really doesn't help that no matter what I always have my cup of tea handy um, so that doesn't help with trying to cool myself down especially because not that long ago I had an ice lolly um, and the thing with the heat is I end up with terrible terrible headaches at the minute I think they've been made worse by actually my hair I don't know if you can see this but my hair is getting super super long um, I don't normally have long hair this is very new for me I think um, that the last time I had hair this long I was 11 years old um, which was over two decades ago now um, and it just you don't feel it when it's there but you really notice it when you get your hair cut that it actually, actually does weigh a lot on the back of your head and um, so that weight when as soon as I get a small headache it just makes it worse and I was actually meant to get it cut before quarantine but I didn't get the chance um, and now I've just I have no choice um, I've been very very close to just cutting it myself um, but then I remember that would be a disaster you know when you see pictures of people um, post um, pictures of their kids online because their kids have got hold of scissors or hair trimmers or whatever um, and they've got like massively different lengths or like half a shaved head and things like that I think that that is what I will actually end up looking like if I try and cut my own hair so it has to stay long for now I don't usually have it down either I've just I've put it down for some of the videos and um, sometimes I, I 
put it in a plait. I can't have it down at night because otherwise I wake up and it's very, very knotty. So I have to put it in a plait at night um, just to kind of keep some semblance of don't look like a crazy person when I wake up in the morning. Um, but yeah, um, I just about managed to keep on top of my fringe. It needs doing again um, so that it looks somewhat presentable and isn't covering my eyes, which it currently is a little bit covering my eyes. So that needs sorting soon. Probably get around to that tomorrow. Um, anyway, I like to end on positives where I can. Um, I know I talked a bit about CBT before, um, but I managed to actually be up front with the lady that does my CBT um, and told her that I didn't think it was the right fit for me. Um, she was super cool about it and she even referred me herself onto the counselling department um, and I've spoken to them. Now I do want face to face counselling as over the phone doesn't kind of work for me, so I do have to wait a while until like you know everything that's going on with quarantine and stuff like that um but things are going in the right direction also my anxi anxiety meds are super super helping i'm on the lowest dose um because just because i tend to suffer with slightly low blood pressure and these tablets can lower your, your blood pressure so i've started off on the very very smallest dose um but they are actually helping without any dodgy side effects so if i feel anxious at night or anything like that um i can take it and you know they, they do wear off within about three hours for me um but that will usually take me into i'm already asleep anyway so that's fine um maybe i'll ask about a slightly higher dose when when i talk to the doctor next time see where i go from there but i'm kind of pro-choice when it comes to medication um if you need them and you want to use them do it there's no shame in needing meds to help you get through the day there's no point struggling if there's something out there that can help you there's no point struggling if taking a tablet will take it all away or at least ease it for you do it talk to your doctor get some meds you know they're not for everybody um and sometimes it is hit and miss um but yeah anyway i'll probably talk about meds in another video um and go into it but you know exercise yoga whatever you know makes a positive change to your mental health physical health or your life in general do it um i hope you are all okay and i shall see you in the next one awesome artistic video bye for now